beautiful ones. Welcome to Crystal Communications. My name is JD. So happy to be here with y'all. We have a special portal coming up. So this is a quick collective message. We might, we'll draw some tarot as well, just for a collective um, reading. So astrologically, there's a lot going on and I just wanted to give you sort of a bit of a heads up, okay? Because there's gonna be this energy quite fiery. All right, think Mars energy, sort of a little bit warlike, okay? And it, it's in regards to um, any and everything. <laughs> okay, so the, the way that this frequency will show up, and it will show up for each and every one of us, you know, it could be in your social media, uh, the conversation you have with someone in the store, or your, your friends or family, um, thoughts, you know, if, it's going to show up for each of us differently, but you're just being asked to, because there's a, a quite a, an important portal coming up on the 21st, to rise above. Now, I am all for expressing emotion. If you feel anger, you know, express it. As long as everyone's safe, happy, you know, at core and well, you know, it, there's no problem with expressing the full extent of our emotions. However, for this particular little play of events, I am getting the message to sort of, yeah, you can feel into those emotions, but take on more of an observer role just for this particular week. You know, you can get into the inspired action, I mean, and all, always take inspired action, but you can get into the, the full logistics of all that, that anger, whatever it is you want to express, okay, I, I really, I am, I'm always, I'm always like, it's so important to express our emotions, but just for this week, I want you to be able to really just take the role of the observer or the alchemist where you are holding the balance and the peace. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's going to be amped up even more because there's a very special portal happening on the 21st. And wouldn't they love for our energy to be here in the, the midst of, you know, turmoil and things like that. Okay. Of course they would because it means that the frequency of the earth, they I say they, it's basically just um, lower density energies where they get to reside. And as we raise, as the collective consciousness raises in the age of Aquarius, as we return to that, that full extent of light and love, the truth of who we are, okay, then it's like those shadow energies don't get to uh, reside or sort of play out as much as they would like to, if at all. So here's an example. I brought a crystal sphere. What is it? Why, it's a crystal. You remember the labyrinth? <laughs> David Bowie, bless you. We love you. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, um, anyway. <laughs> so rose quartz sphere, okay? Imagine this is the glow, beautiful Mother Earth. And really, Earth, Mother Earth is the prize. She always has been. Here we all are. The truth of the energy is this love, this eternal love, peace, and compassion. And as we raise the frequency of the crystalline globe, and this is from our own crystalline structure, and yes, also your crystals as well that you have, sweethearts, really work with them, especially this week and on the 21st. Okay, it's like each of you as light workers, that's exactly who you are, you're on the path, that's why you found this channel, right? It's like you're holding this light frequency, you're, you're one of the chosen ones. Okay, it's like you are of a mission of spirit and it's you resonate this this higher light consciousness Christ consciousness And so you hold this place on the energetic grid of the globe this crystalline grid and in doing so you raise the frequency of the collective consciousness and in doing so you also Reverberate this out to those around you to the energetic field around you and in doing so you create heaven on earth. You create the portals, the timelines that are in alignment with the higher consciousness with true love. Okay, so your passion and your light is very much needed uh, always, you know, but particularly for this week because this portal is very special. And with these energies, if they can sort of create this, sort of encapsulate the consciousness, you know, like imagine we encapsulate this and we're like, no, oh, you're not going to reach that light, you know, you're going to feel like this, you know, then everything else gets affected. You imagine sort of like a net, right? If one part of the net gets pulled down, then it all sort of gets pulled down here. Okay. I know they're even like, how do they know this stuff? How do they work it out? But it's because we remember, because we're in the age of, Aqu uh, of Aquarius and we've awakened. We have, we have for a very long time and some of us never slept. Okay. So here we are, you know, age of Aquarius and it's just become e becoming even more powerful. It's like your light and beauty is, is remembering. It's very beautiful. There's this positive outlook that's coming forward. But as I was saying, if you can connect to the ley lines of the earth, now the ley lines hold a high power frequency 
this is going to amp up even more if you can be with mother earth like put your feet on the earth this is really going to help on the portal of the 21st or if you can go into meditation if only for a moment and remember those sacred places those sacred places that you have visited either in dream space in material realm or in that memory that soul dna memory that you have or either within meditation or within like you know that you've just been there or it has a resonance for you connect to those places that feel a home in your heart this is going to do so much more this is going to do so much for the collective okay when you're in this place rather than in a place of trying to battle you know any of these sort of mars like energies that are playing out this week so just know that it's not so much like a test it just is what it is just be like all right so protect your light protect your peace and protect your love and i would also truly recommend um for oh work with rose quartz crystal as well look at this i have this beauty in the store it's a little carved crystal moon it comes with like this light base as well these are beautiful um, work with rose quartz you can sleep with a piece of rose quartz under your pillow or in your bed carry it with you but any crystals really are raising the frequency of the energetic grid crystal quartz sell it let all of them all of them are gifts gems from mother earth okay so really work with them this week and um yeah there's a lot going on in the world but rather than going into the uh the fear or the negativity of, of what could happen just for this particular timeline for this particular portal, I want you to, you know, see it as a task, see it as a mission to go, I'm going to push through into the positivity, like I'm just going to force myself. It's sort of like, you know, and I think I've mentioned it before, when we smile, okay, it releases endorphins directly from the brain, okay, and you imagine you're driving a car, how do you get that car to go? You put your foot to the pedal okay that's what you do you need to know how to drive the car to make it go well your body is like a vessel physical vessel how do you make it go how do you resonate higher how do you get into that frequency of love just like this <laughs> force yourself you know you do the car doesn't just you know it's like sometimes we've got to force our foot onto the pedal okay so it's just working out those tips tools and tricks like working with crystals that affect the energetic grid of the body as well that allow you to connect to the truth of who you are, which is peace and love. That is your truth. Yes, we do get to experience other frequencies. We do make other choices that sometimes put us sometimes out of alignment with ourselves, or they put us on a different path. That's all part of the journey. And then we lead each other back to peace and to love. Okay, so just for this week, just because it is, uh, you know, a bit of a, a special time that's happening, all light warriors are being called to connect to earth or connect to that frequency of peace and love on the 21st. Mark it in your diary. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a big job. It is a big job, you know, to try and think positively in a time when there's just like, there's a lot of, you know, possibilities. There's a lot of like <laughs> paranoia. And honestly, those are the two sides. It's like, it almost goes from like passion and love to paranoia and seclusion and there's sort of no in between right but there is and love is is the in between it's love is the rainbow the heart chakra is the rainbow between the hearts yeah it's so good cacao who makes it she's so amazing I'll write it in the comments she's so amazing guys it's so delicious and um, really easy to make because now they use the smaller um, cacao granules and I also mixed in a little bit of coffee. I did because, you know, well, my mom drinks instant coffee and so when I have instant coffee, it makes me feel so much closer to home. And so I mixed it in and it was really delicious. So do things that make you feel close to home, that make you feel close to your heart this week, okay? It's really important and I know it's a big job, sweethearts, but that's why you're the chosen one because you're here to do that and you absolutely can. So bless you and thank you for all that you do. Let's draw some cards. I am seeing like an aura rainbow. That's protecting you, guiding you this way. Yeah, that's what I was going to say in regards to energy cleansing. Actually, I just remembered I dropped a card last night. Let me pick it up. And look which card it is. Success and victory. <laughs> Amazing. 
um, energy cleansing for this week because there is going to be a lot of the shadows, a lot of the past, especially with that that retrograde and Venus happening. It's all, it's all coming back to me. And then, uh, yeah, you know, it's all going to be coming back. And so um, just, you know, protect your light and your peace during this time. Egg cleanse, if you look up this YouTube channel, search for egg cleanse. I 100% recommend doing it this week before we go into the portal or before we go into the new year. Without further ado, my darlings, this is the collective energy reading for this special time, Seven of Swords, sneaky energy, people thinking they can get away with things, thinking they can attach to your energy field that you'll drag them through the portal think they can like do you wrong yeah knight of wands sort of coming in with a passion offer but then we got the nine of wands in reverse mm, making you do all the work i see it's like bringing passion but then <laughs> queen of wands there's a knight approaching a queen that's a strategy just because the seven of swords is straight up i'm i'm questioning King of Pentacles in reverse. There could be either a bit of control, sort of wanting people to, you know, it's like wanting someone to uh, obey to their rules or their ways of doing things. Um, there's love, Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups reverse. I do really get the sense that there is this imbalanced energy because... There's a couple of, but then the, on the other hand, it's like somebody's feeling depleted or feeling uh, unstable, emotionally imbalanced, unsupported even. And the Hierophant in reverse. Again, that's about doing things differently. It's like someone wants one thing done one way and the other person wants to do things a different way. It's, a, it's an interesting energy. Um, it's quite perplexing. The Four of Wands is refinding that balance. Maybe you guys are literally apart. I am literally, like, it feels like, like, even like oceans apart. It's that sort of sense. Like, it feels like, or you just see things so differently. You literally see the world in such a different way. And of course, that can cause turbulence. Remember, guys, this is a collective reading. And it can cause distance, okay? You could be in the same room, but it feels like your ocean's apart, right? It can create distance when, because each of us are really living in our own reality in a way until we wake up and connect to the heart portal. Because remember, it's the rainbow between the heart portal that connects us all as one. That's when we remember. Those are the moments that if you get to experience it once in your life, you're a happy, blessed being. If you get to live a whole lifetime of that, well, ma, didn't you, didn't you just hit the jackpot, you know? But somebody does hit the jackpot here with the four of wands. This is about harmony. It's about seeing common ground, seeing eye to eye, that, that, that connection, those pillars of light protecting this union. And, you know, despite what's going on in the world or despite what, you know, the differences of, it's like both awaken. You know, the 1111 is like a symbol of on the past, synchronicity. It's like both of these energies were at one stage going like, I see things one way, I saw things the other. But there is this common mutual, you know, love, this overflowing love and this passion. And then they find this, this path. Reconciliation even and makes sense with the Venus. Um, yeah, Ace of, Ace of Wands. I'm literally like, haha, -ha, you know, like you put your sword down, like it is, it's like a victory. Okay, and it's one that brings in a lot of passion because there was so much either like time apart for some of you. I'm hearing like someone was really sweating it out or they really felt like they were going to lose someone here. Um, this is a, this is a collective reading. It's going to show up differently. I've noticed it's 444 on the screen. Trust the angels and have faith. Angels are guiding this connection. They are guiding the way forward. Um, but again, these are very passionate energies. Do understand it's about, you know, coming to that, that place of peace, that inner peace, um, even neutrality during this time to be able to find your way to the light, way back to heart. It's raining. Beautiful. 
seven of pentacles enjoying the now moment knowing that you're going to be taken care of the universe wants you to be peaceful within yourself and enjoy the things around you like there's someone like you might have somebody's doing like crafts or something and spirits like you're really good at that like they really want you to enjoy it. i can literally see like a table with like paints that what you're about to create it's amazing, but like really have fun with it. See how she's got this in this basket of fruits? This is spirit saying like, hey, have faith and trust, but enjoy the now. Because right now, your now has every element you need. You just need to see it. You know, it's like it's right there. And and it is it's it is gonna get better as well. Last but not least, Nine of Pentacles. You see? Independence, strength feeling very fulfilled you're good you're so good you know like i it's like nothing really like it's just yeah it's like water on your back what's that saying you know it's like it is what it is you know you're good and nothing's going to shake this no shadow is going to come in and shake this peace and this love i mean it can try it can try to bring in shadow and disrespect but it just keeps getting better and better for you my love nine to the ten of pentacles Abundance. Abundance in all areas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Patience, you know. Hanged man. Seeing things in a new light, a new perspective. The light is within. Um, yeah. It's like when you notice how amazing your now is, like really enjoy the cup of coffee. It's just a, it's just a cacao and a coffee. Like it's just... Or it could be the most magical, and it is, because I can literally see rainbows in the bubbles. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know, the most magical, and it is. And I feel like you're about to have, like, the most magical moments that connect you to that rainbow bridge of your heart. Seven of Wands, defend your light. This is defending your peace and your light, my loves. That's what the mission is for this week. Let's get one final card. I love you so fam so much. Last but not least, what did we get? The High Priestess. All right. All right. You heard the word. This is a message, a collective message for the Chosen Ones, for the light workers, the High Priestess, the Magicians, the Magic Makers, the Alchemists. You know who you are. You know who you are. The spirit knows who you are. So connect to your light. Okay, you're the alchemist for this week. And uh, you you are so needed and so loved. And they know your name, I'm hearing. You're, you're very admired. So bless you. You know, with the energy cleansing that you're doing. And the, you know, the, the sending, you know, choosing that, that higher possibility. Positive thinking. It's like all the tools in your toolkit. It's uh, not easy work and you've been through so much to be able to be the High Priestess. This is of high honor. You have a, a position of high honor. So remember that. Remember who you are. Bless and forgive all on the path, but protect your light. Protect your peace. I love you so much. You are so needed. Let's do this. And I'm gonna go do a reading for Gemini, I think, was requested. There's going to be um, a very instant awakening, I heard, of the throat chakra that's coming through. So yeah, you might notice your words start flowing with such ease. And it's, it's, like, it's like your vision, it's your third eye and the throat chakra. Yeah, gorgeous. I'm hearing step into the chamber of healing within your dream space and also within your now. such joy there is such laughter there is such love and happiness it's on the horizon it's coming on in i love you so fam ciao for now
bless, bless, bless. One more thing. Just remember the first card that came out. High Priestess knows. Okay? She knows. And it's a journey. But this is healing. This is alchemy. Transformation. You transition into the age of Aquarius. I love you. Ciao for now. Bless.